Then to begin on the five years ago, and in the total life of the church, it is a time to remember and think of the important events that shaped our Christian faith. The story begins after Jesus' baptism, when he was driven into the desert by the Holy Spirit to pray, to fast, to reflect, and prepare for what was to come. He knew that his journey would not be easy. His message of love and forgiveness would be laughed at, rejected, and treated with contempt. Ultimately, it would lead to his suffering and death on the cross. Next week is Holy Week, the last of the week of Lent, and Christians all around the world are invited to share in the celebration of Palm Sunday, the wonder and awe of the Last Supper, the despair of the crucifixion, and the incredulous joy of the Easter miracle. And so, Jesus came to save all people from the offer of God's love and peace. We begin our service today by saying together the more good need prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus' popularity amongst the people was growing. News of his miracles of healing and his message of love in a world full of hate had inspired and filled them with hope, expectation, and anticipation. Could they dare to believe that amongst them, in their lifetime, God had finally sent the Messiah, the one that the prophets of old had promised? Jerusalem was full of people who had come to celebrate Passover, but Jesus was the topic of their conversation. The people were excited. They were noisy. They were ready. reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives. There, Jesus sent two of the disciples on ahead with these instructions. Go to the village there ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied up with her colt beside her. Untie them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything, tell him the master needs them, and then he will let them go at once. This happened in order to make what the prophet said come true. Tell the city of Zion, look, your king is coming to you. He is humble and rides on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. So the disciples went and did what Jesus had told them to do. They brought the donkey and the colt, threw their cloaks over them, and Jesus got on. A large crowd of people spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds walking in front of Jesus and those walking behind began to shout, Praise to David's son! 
God bless him who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Jesus entered Jerusalem. The whole city was thrown into an uproar. Who is he? The people asked. This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee, the crowds answered. The next day, after his triumphant entrance into Jerusalem, Jesus went into the holy temple and drove out all those who were buying and selling. He overturned the tables of the money changers, and he said to them, My father's house is a house of prayer, not a den for thieves. The religious leaders were not happy. Who does he think he is? How dare he? And want him arrested and brought in for questioning. Jesus had started to walk the path to his cross.
very next day, Jesus walked straight back into the temple and stood there ready to be questioned, not the actions of a guilty man. The questioning began, should we pay taxes to Caesar? If Jesus replied yes, he would have been guilty of breaking Jewish law. If he had answered no, then he would have broken Roman law. Jesus cleverly asked for a coin and said, whose likeness is this? They answered, Caesar's, to which Jesus replied, give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to him. Astonished by his answer, no fault or charge could be brought against Jesus. But this only fed the determination of the Pharisees to punish Jesus for his words and his actions. His attitude was seen as arrogant in the face of his betters. The next day, the Pharisees struck a deal with one of Jesus' followers. 30 pieces of silver for handing Jesus over for further questioning. Thursday came quickly and with it a chain of events that people would remember, people would write down and people would talk about for over 2,000 years. Thank you. 
Jesus taken and throughout the night he stood on trial. First his sin of blasphemy, and then the crime of treason. With the Jewish Jewish Council who found an innocent Jesus, guilty and claimed to be the Son of God, blasphemy. The same council who needed the help of the permission of the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, to sentence Jesus to death to claim Jesus the King of the Jews, treason. Pontius Pilate, wanting to keep the peace, afraid of a crowd stood up by the Jewish religious leaders, handed Jesus, an innocent man, over to be crucified. Jesus had been scourged to the pillar, whipped, lashed using metal bars, thrown the flesh from his body. They mocked him, put a purple robe on him, and pushed a crown of thorns into his head. They laughed as he shouted, Hail, King of the Jews. A long night of dark, purposeful actions gave way to the dawn of a new day, the day and the hour that would allow Jesus to fulfill his own divine intention.
afternoon, the whole country was covered with darkness, which lasted for three hours. At about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud enough shout, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the people standing there heard him say, he is calling for Elijah. One of them ran up at once, took a sponge, soaked it in cheap wine, put it on the end of the stick and tried to make him drink it. But the other said, wait, let us see if Elijah is coming to save him. Jesus again gave a loud cry and breathed his last. <coughs> What is the power of the cross? What is the power that comes from Jesus' suffering, his passion and death? As each candle is extinguished, we call to mind the sacrifice that Jesus made for us on the cross. The power of the cross is love. The love that suffers for the sake of others. The love that accepts rejection and keeps on loving. The love that gives everything. The power of the cross is joy, the joy that comes from doing God's will, the joy that is found from our suffering and joy with his, the joy that comes from knowing that heaven awaits. The power of the cross is peace, the peace that passes understanding, the inner peace that no storm can shake, the peace that the world cannot give. The power of the cross is patience, the patience that endures pain, the patience of this humiliation and contempt, the patience that waits for resurrection. The power of the cross is kindness, the kindness that forgives one's enemies, the kindness that keeps others carry their cross, the kindness that hopes for the good of others, saying they know not what they do. The power of the cross is goodness, the goodness of the soul, a living of a soul living in unity with grace, the goodness that ends violence by not retaliating. The power of the cross is gentleness. The gentleness that responds to mockery and ridicule with silence. The gentleness that is humility. <coughs> Mary, Jesus' mother speaks. The image is in my head, O oh, you who bear the pain of the whole earth, I bore you. O oh, you whose tears give human tears their worth. 
I loved with you. You, who when your hand is touched, your power I nourished you. We turn the day to night in this dark hour. Light comes from you. For you who hold the world in your embrace, I carried you. For you who laughed and ate and walked the shore, I played with you. And I, with all others, died for. Now I hold you. May I be faithful to the final test. It is last time I hold my child, my son. His body closed and folded to my breast. The holder held, the bearer bare, morning to joy, darkness to morn. Open my arms, your work is done. Yeah. 
us to use the Christ and offer our prayers on the throne of grace. Have mercy on your people for whom your son laid out his life. Bring healing and wholeness to people and nations, and to the owners who are brought by division. Strengthen all who are persecuted for your name's sake, and deliver them from evil. Look in mercy upon all who suffer, and hear those who cry out in pain and desolation. Bring comfort to die, and gladden their hearts with the vision of your glory. Give rest to the departed, and bring them with your faith to glory and the last. Command the world to which Christ died, the most in protection of God, and take together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and give us not the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus and see a new journey. 
and new relationships. The cross of Christ is not pity, but it is redemption, it is salvation. It is our hope of glory, when the light of cross is the source of all our joy and peace. When we look forward to living in the resurrection of Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 